Again, I feel like I'm missing chunks of this game in places. The third essence, lower level subordinate than the other two. So if anyone does want to play through this and tell me what I've missed, let me know. Hopefully I'm not catching my mic too much. I'm having to wear a hood whilst playing this because, frankly, my room is freezing. Still better than Dear Esther. God. Played through that game like three times. It was bloody awful. Warning detail. Oh no. I am the third one in this portrait. You all look the same, even as a silhouette. You succeed each other as soap bubbles. How many of you are there in total? Two stallions and a girth. When we drove by on a motorcycle, there were three of us on that banger. After that is a turning point in the evolution itself. Hope this is not a contribution. Stay stable and cut the chatter about all these motorcycles. A twitched number in a series am I? This is a subsequent process. At first, there are three levels of the elemental essence. In other words, one, two, three. You are the seventh one. Talk without wavering. During these three stages of the essence, the forthcoming creature develops the ability to flesh out into an organized form. We are learning, and therefore, we are unstable. You are unbelievably agile. So it's moved from very meta things into evolution? Then goes the turning point, mineral stage. While the forthcoming creature is in the rock state, it acquires the rigidity of the shell. Where are my painkillers? Was a man a hunk of rock? It smells like pseudoscience. It had been long ago, and it was before the state of human acquisition. A new stage of plants begins after the mineral one. I am confused. It's a pity that plumber isn't here. I would slap his ear for his inventions. Here I exist as if disembodied. I belong to the sixth state of universal material, that is the world of emotions and wishes. I fill this world with myself, and I serve as a Play-Doh for it, just like those two decayed geraniums for the mental one. I wish you to have more marriage ceremonies. What? Almost. All your wishes and emotions. Even dogs are running somewhere sometimes when sleeping. They're shaking their paws and whining. Did you see it? This is what happens to me. So it turns out that the man is fooling around in three worlds? Yes, that is, in the mental world, the world of wishes, and in the physical one. What about the dogs? Due to a lower level of development, they are only in the physical world, and in the world of wishes. Many humans, just like dogs, without any kind of spells applied. <sighs> Nonsense! All very thought-provoking and migraine-inducing, <laughs> but ultimately all very pointless. Well, <sighs> oh, he looks dapper. Well, we're resting, bitch face. Who are you? I was brought here. I am the Herald. I got a title. Let's stop the rotation. I am unarmed. My presence here is unscripted, but I've already been loaded. Just like body appendix. It seems to be present, and then it isn't. It seems to be needed, and then it isn't. My appearance is a whim of the architect. Your message sounds to me just like a CEO would delegate it. <laughs> the message is from the architect, and it's addressed at enemies. Are you an enemy? Is it this scary as the gloom? <clears throat> enemy of mine. You've got only one way, and that is to become my copycat. 
Is that all? What will happen when an enemy becomes his copycat? He will follow him. What for? This success is invaluable. Follow me. How wonderful this sounds. Only if the heart embraces it, but not the mind. The enemy is following him all the time anyway, not falling behind the divers. Having a wood stick in the wheel, wrench in the cog, is one thing. Using it to support the table is another. And what will happen if he is out of the picture? He won't become a copycat. Well, who cares how many stones got stuck at the bottom of the ocean? Carol is entitled to announce. Oh, let's continue. <laughs> what is this whole way from the essence to humans for? If I turn it into a joke, in order to avoid the path to Australopithecus, the universe is a conglomerate of states of consciousness from the most primitive and almost invisible one to the highest ones. The consciousness is developing slowly through all sorts of forms. A stone, a tree, a dog, a human. In order not to stay as an amoeba forever, one must develop his consciousness. Isn't it possible to be without a form? A klutz, a slab, is it? The form acts as an expression of the consciousness. Without it, what would we do to live in the imagination? So where does the consciousness have its supremacy? There's no limit to perfection. Oh, my brain. Okay, let me out. Just... Let's get through this. I've mostly given up on understanding. And also partly cursing whoever uh, the person who recommended this to me. Oh my goodness. Where do I escape? Give me your bike. Please. Anything. The car. There's nothing to interact with. I'll try having a look at this guy again, but... Unless it's this thing. Yes, let me out. A rock won't fall on the head just like that. I don't know, I feel like a rock's smacked me between the eyes right now. <laughs> Humans only. Yes, very nice rain effects. We've already seen them before. <sighs> Apparently, I took the car. Without taking the car. Right. Stop. Don't hit the gates. Oh, and who are you? I am a rock. Nice to meet you. You are the turning point, the mineral, as I understand. You won't find a thing if you go to the left. I mean, I didn't tell you even a small lie. You'll find a damn thing if you go to the right. It will find you if you go back. So what shall I do? It's a trap on all sides. Of course, straight along the glide curve. The keeper lady is waiting there for you. I hope she is, the inspirational one. It is strange that no one told me about her before. Only I talk about her as chrysoberyls to stress the power. It would have been strange to hear about her out of the mouths of fruit yogurts like those three jackasses. Oh no, they are good lads. But to say the truth, they are somewhat flimsy, as if made of plaster. They will be wallowing there for a long time, like a jelly. And who is this inspirational one? Is she Goldilocks? <laughs> she is a woman. Yes, it we Have you got an access card? There are only two coins to count. Volnestik and Vulblevik. Come on in. This is all your feet. Oh, I wish the camera would stop moving round. So, nothing that way. Tra you know, I'm going to go look at the trap. It's a trap! Yes, distracted by the data.
Well, apparently we're a leg man. Just making sure that car's not coming up behind me. Remember, collective joy after depart is expecting us. Ah, you again. So what is this event about? Paramount importance. Be advised that not everyone is having fun there. It all depends on obedience, strict following the rituals. Speak clearer, Mr. Masqueradon. It is all very simple. Indulgence is possible. You make a contribution and all your debts are washed away. Whom shall I pay the coins to? Pay me. I got it. I'm an official dealer. I got my own accredited ministry. I will think about it. Don't forget you got one life and let's not live small. So there can be ways to work around it? Does this mean if I'm a sinner and you pay dues, then everything will be washed away? Yep, and you manage not to provoke him to anger. This is some kind of farce. This is not how the universe works. I told you that the Earth was flat, he. This is utter claptrap. Don't confuse me. Too late. Okay. There is also short-term repentance. Okay. Let's assume that I had been a thief and even a murderer all my life. Then, a day before death, I repented suddenly. Repented for real. And then what? Straight to heaven? To paradise? Yep. Wanna pull one's hair out? No, no. Something doesn't feel right about it. Everything is fine. You just do the contribution. The rest is none of your concern anyway. I'm connected. Connected via a regular mobile network. <laughs> sort things out. Okay, I'll drop by once I gather some sins. At least by candles. So, is he representing the sort of priest that goes, Ah, repent, repent, give us money. Repent, give us money. I always dislike that about militants going, Yeah, you can just repent on your deathbed. And suddenly you're in the clear. That's what purgatory should be for. It's a case of, well, you repented, but you haven't worked off all the karmic debt you have, so... Well, hopefully get to work up some sins in a fun way, but uh, I doubt it. Ugh! I'm, I'm s that That's too much of a nose ring. Come on, let me do something. I, I'm getting increasingly irate with these stupid long intro switch section because they're very repetitive. Like, why? Why are you showing this over and over? Christ, you look at that face like that, and it feels like an advertisement, like, this is why you shouldn't do meth. <laughs> yeah, stay away from drugs, kids. You end up just sitting there grinning and frowning at people. Completely off your face. Finally. Crumbs. Holy crap. Um, I almost walked right into that. Alright, I like that. That's cool. 
I don't really want to talk to her. She's just going to give me a headache. Fine. Hello. How do you do? The card is this the dog plasticity and its form as a new lens. Oh. Hello. How do you do? The card is this the dog plasticity and its form as a new level by connecting it with its earlier acquired stability. Plants in this new stage of evolution. I don't quite get how it fits in the time distribution. A year for the stone stage, a year for the plant stage, and then the human? No, he'll last longer. Uncountable ages for a stage in its own form. I need a stool to, to sit down. A human, then? Of course. Wouldn't it result in doubt in 21st century, would it? Reincarnation in circles round and round. Some dealer was fooling me with this. One gets born, lives his life, dies, and that's it. After that is the eternal joy only. Hold on a second. Where's the evidence? There's no confusion. For instance, the abilities, intellectual, and moral qualities. Everyone's got them different. This is the result of selecting the experience from earlier reincarnations. Is the experience preserved without instigations by parents? Both the experience and the growth of consciousness. Otherwise, the universe doesn't make any sense. It doesn't. The eternal resurrection is nonsense. It is. And how to crack the genetic code. There are several dynasties of scientists and doctors and such. Genetics is a feature of a race, a nation. A certain group, a consciousness translating into existence may require consonant conditions. It is much harder to become a musician in a family of cobblers, but a genius can be born even in a humble family and another way around. You people are something. And where is the spirit in all of this? Consciousness is with spirit. I can't even ask about rewards amidst all of this. The architect issues the rewards. He is scheduled by the end of the journey. We done? Really weird. She's the only person who doesn't freeze you in place when you talk to them. Yeah, can we can we just go? Oh. The dill smells pleasant. Is that a mandacle? What the? If it screams at me, I'm gonna be pissed. From Kingdom Plantain? Aha, and without any postures? Well, and how do you find it? Seems alright. <laughs> how do you like me to plant? You will figure out some information from me on your own. This is the wish of the architect. Are you present in the world of wishes? There is not in our existence and not in the fiery one. The consciousness of a plant is rather ephemeral, incredibly subtle, and it is sensations. What is the next stage of metamorphosis after yours? The animal one. Plasticity. Acquired earlier and the stability of the form are being accumulated. Later, at a proper time, animals capable of individualization transition to a qualitatively new level. Dogs, dolphins, elephants, they are all getting close to it. Not if we kill them all off first. Excuse me, I need to get into the salad. Oh, I was hoping to see him jump in, but... <gasps> God! Oh, you're joking. You're joking. If it starts me back at the beginning, I will catch up with you, but... What is this? What have I done? Okay, I think I've broken it. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. I may have to catch up with you in just a bit. Ah, finally I'm back. Oh, and it was just wait a few seconds. And I'd be slapped into another unskippable cutscene. 
Oh god, those are so obnoxious, I will be honest. Thankfully, it didn't take me nearly as long to get through it this time. Anthropomorphic anthropogenesis of the 48th order. <laughs> Stop it. I don't care about her. At least get rid of the nose ring. It's really off-putting. Why? It's just... Her frowning, smiling, frowning, smiling. It's, like, it's not even a nice smile. It's like the I'm trying to purposely look like I'm happy and then it's like meh at the end usually. laggy now. That's a bit worrying. I hope you understood everything is a fantastic piece of nonsense they got here. Yep. Especially this dill which is in the salad right now. The thing is, a man came from a monkey because there's no other way around it. And there couldn't have been another way. You got carried away again. What's the evidence? The direct evidence is in the remains of creatures and fossils. Besides, the similarity is confirmed through anatomical, genetic, behavioral, embryological, and other common features. Only both a monkey and a human got their gene responsible for the synthesis of vitamin C disabled. It is active for the rest of the mammals. Yes, dealer. You are informed. You are speaking very smoothly. Yeah, evolution is but correct. Still, he did not provide the evidence of the origin of a human from a monkey. What? You claimed the similarity. Dill lost. I did sniff the dill. No, no, evolution is accurate. To add or to subtract. Oh. My god, this is this is doing horrible things to my computer. What is going on with this bloody monkey? The fever about the monkey has ended. Everything is very simple. It took place at the dawn of the development of the human stage, in which, by the way, a creature obtains the highest harmony of the form. After plants and animals? Yes, I'll tell you a brief version. A creature receives individuality starting from the human stage. It is able to think and love, self-sacrifice, and do a heroic deed. Hmm. Humans do not possess consciousness at the time when he, together with a female specimen, Produce an ancestor of monkeys. The irresponsible human desecrates his status by lowering himself physically to the animal level. Ugh, nonsense. Absolute garbage and nonsense. Yeah, I've got to listen to more of it. Irresponsible? Not all humans were gifted with understanding at once. For some time, some of them remained without the consciousness. They were narrow-minded. They had the biological status of a human, but they were still empty-headed. <laughs> Plenty of those right now. Straight. How could it be if right now it's been established that there are obstructions for such rough combinations? For instance, body rejection, genetics. Yes, bad synthetics. The window of possibility gradually closed. Many, many centuries passed since then. The monkey changed as well. So did the human. Ah, oh, are we done? Am I done listening to your absolute garbage? Yes. Case of oh no, monkeys and humans have evolved to be too dissimilar now. The dogs we can't are breathe. howling at the moon. The cats gather in a circle. Dead light is shining as a memory of past years. I blame you for the moonlit sky and the dream that died. Eagles fly. Uh, more I randomly staring at this woman's bloody face. With the same animations.
Yes, you've dropped your pencil. Pick it up. Why the camera wobble? You said that the stages of development, among other things, are also attributed to the planets. Does it mean that we arrived from outside? In a sense, your previous animal stage took place on a different planet. Oh. Where were they from then? Could it be on a comet? The moon is the mother of the Earth. No, it's not. There's a good chance the moon is a chunk of the Earth's core that got ripped out of it by a hard enough bloody meteorite hitting it whilst the planet was forming. And who is on the moon right to now? No one. There's nothing. And there's nobody on this piece of rock. The planet's moon gave up its water, gases, and energy to the new planet by shrinking in size. Now the moon is a cold junk, a corpse. How did the transition take place? The new planet was being formed as a nebula of a much larger diameter than the current size of the Earth. The hot nebula also embraced the moon. And this is why all of the water boiled over and transitioned to being a part of the new planet, along with the rest of the chemicals. Seven link. Nonsense. Absolute nonsense. Come on. Does this mean we came from animals? No, that's incorrect. You have been on planet Earth as humans from the very origin. Now you can trace the links of the chain. Three stages of the elemental essence. Then minerals, plants, and animals. And the human as the seventh stage. Each one has its own duration. It would be wrong to say that one came from the other. A stage succeeds another one in development. Would it be possible to say that the mysterious influence of precious stones or minerals is some kind of property that they bring with them after the elemental stages, in other words, from conscious worlds? That's nonsense! The whole crystal magic thing is nonsense! Stop it! And what about our current plants? Animals. They will be on future planets. This is a borderless flow of life in the universe. Basically, it is what determines our understanding of the infinity of cosmos. Are there more stages after the seventh one? Yes, there are. Bullcrap, they'll be on other planets. We kill them here, we've killed them permanently. Oh, great. Am I supposed to be giving her a striptease? Why? So I'm stuck in the conversation window mode. Yet I can't interact with anything. And it's just another s song. Yes, I'm sure the song is supposed to convey something and the lyrics are supposed to mean something, but come on. Don't grin at me. Oh god, this better be recording. I really hope I'd have to play through this again. Because I forgot to say it before I restarted. Which means I'd have to start from the beginning again. And I don't think I could take this a third time. It's such pseudoscience garbage. We done. Oh, finally. Enough of the song played that I could use it. The tea is cold again. Why is the kettle cold as well? How do I know? Make your own goddamn tea. Turn if the kettle's cold, turn the um kettle back on. Maybe change your water if you're in a hard water area. Beware flashing images. This game had no such warning. Oh, 
Oh, did, did someone, like, get the recording stuck on loop? Alright, alright, I need a five minute break. I'm gonna be right back. 